Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. My name is Rocky. In this video, I'm going to show you three easy ways to convert a Word document to PDF in Windows 10. Note that all these methods are offline methods, that is, that you would not require an active internet connection to be able to convert the Word to PDF. So let's get started. So on the desktop, I have a sample Word document that I'll be working with. So let's open it up. So as we can see, this is the content of our document file. This is just a line of text. So we can just remove this and replace and then let's save it. So now we are going to convert this into PDF. So let's look at the first way. In order to do that, go to the file menu, click on it. And then from the list of options, look for the option that says export and click on that. And from the export screen, under the Create a PDF XPS Document section, look for the button that says Create PDF or XPS. Click on that. It's going to ask you to save. So we can save it as sample1.pdf. And you can select if you want the PDF file to be optimized or not, depending on your choice. If you want to look at more options, you can click on the Options button here. And then you can choose from a range of pages that you want to convert to PDF format. You can click the all option to convert all of the pages or if you want to just convert the existing or the current page simply click on the second video button or if you want to convert a range of pages then you can select the last option that says pages and provide the numbers such as 1 through 5 or 5 through 10 for instance i don't want to do anything so i want to just select all and i am going to say okay and let's save it as sample1.pdf and hit the publish button and now it has generated the PDF file for us and this is all in text format that we can right click and copy that takes care of the first way of generating the PDF file so let's look at the second way of doing that simply close this and now let's go to the file option again and then look for the option that says print and click on that and from underneath the printer option click on this drop down and then select the option that says Microsoft Print to PDF and click on that. If you don't have this Microsoft Print to PDF option in your computer, you can select one of our videos that we have in our channel. And I'm going to link up to that video in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. And then once you have selected this option, then simply click on the print button. And then select where you want to store it. I'm going to store it on desktop as sample 2. And then click the save button let's minimize and check so the sample 2 has been generated let's open it up and again the PDF file has been generated for us so now let's look at the third way of generating the PDF file let's go to the file option one more time and look for the option that says save as and click on that and from here choose where you want to save the file I'm going to try to save it on desktop, so I'm going to click on that. And when the save as pop-up appears, make sure you give the appropriate file name. I'm going to give it as sample3. But from save as type option, note that the drop-down has the value word document. So you want to save it as PDF document. So simply click on this drop-down and select the PDF format. Note that it has appended the PDF extension to the file name. So we want that to happen automatically. So now click on the save button. And now it has opened up the sample3.pdf document automatically for us. Again, it's a PDF document. Let's close this and let's verify it from my desktop. And as we can see here, the sample3 has been generated. Let's open it up one last time. And this is indeed a PDF file. So those are the three ways in which you can generate PDF files from a Word document. You would need Word 2016 or higher to be able to do this. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please show your support by leaving a like, comment and share the video on social media. Subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon to receive all future updates. Thanks for watching.